Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. We're in the middle of a self-care challenge and you are right on time for self-care. You're welcome to go back or just go forward with us. Today was technically day 28 and people were encouraged to take a long walk meaning at least 30 minutes. And yesterday I shared a video and I had a couple of attached articles on the importance of getting out into nature, especially the vitamin D, the natural vitamin D from the sun that you can get, and just what a fantastic stress reliever it is to walk. And like 30 minutes is the key number. Today, which is for tomorrow, <laughs> day 29, I try and stay a day ahead, is to write a thank you note. And thank you notes are brilliant. They can make people so happy. Uh, personally, while an email is great and even a text is okay, snail mail is the preference. If you actually take stationery or buy a card and mail that to someone, I just got a thank you card in the mail today. It was brilliant because what I had done for them was weeks ago. Um, so it was a great surprise to get that thank you and to be reminded of that act of kindness and what it meant to this person. I mean, so fantastic. So it reads, research has shown that being thankful and expressing gratitude is good for your health. It's a simple practice, but can have great benefits for the sender and receiver. Is there someone in your life you're truly thankful for? Let them know today. That's what I love. It's not for an action. It's just out of nowhere. To say, wow, I just want you to know I'm thankful for you. Like me and my JBV community. That's Jules Buzz Vegan. This will make you feel good and the receiver of the note will probably feel better too. I love that. And of course, there's a hyperlink on Research Has Shown. And I will definitely share this in the description of the video. Um, it's actually called Gratitude and Well-Being. And I can see it's a peer-reviewed study. So um, there's an abstract and, you know, of, of course, some good tools here, though. I can also see um, that it has a quiz, which is kind of a fun way to find out, you know, how grateful you really are. Uh, also, it gives some ideas how, how to become more grateful in your life. And uh, some ideas on how to explain span on gratefulness. So one, they talked about journaling, about what you're grateful for. Two, think about someone for whom you are grateful. Three, write or send a letter to someone for whom you're grateful. Meditate on gratitude, like present, present moment awareness. Undertaking the count your blessings exercise. Uh, at the end of the week, you write down three things for which you are grateful, or even daily if you're really in a deficit, to take a moment to write down three things a day kind of recenters people on how blessed they are. Practicing thank you in a sincere and meaningful way. Let me try it. Thank you. <laughs> I would never have to practice thankful. I've got it down. Um, writing thank you notes. Again, such a great idea. And if religious, praying about your gratitude. Amen. And again, like I said, there's a really uh, interesting little... Um, quiz right here and it's kind of tricky there's only six questions and after you add up four of them the other two are reversed and that can really put you into an interesting place i so one was i have so much in life for which to be thankful fully if i had to list everything that i felt grateful for it would be a long list so yes when i look at the world i don't see much to which to be grateful so no i am grateful to a wide variety of people yes as i get older i find myself more able to appreciate the people events and situations that have been part of my life history that's true that's completely true but it's not a hard yes it's something i'm still evolving into and long amounts of time can go by before i feel grateful to something or someone that's a hard no so for this and even with the two flips i got a 41 and a 41 is 75 percentile of people who are grateful which is crazy there was only one that i chose to do a six instead of a seven and it still only gave me the 75 percentile. You have to get 42 to even be in the top 13 percent. 
I would debate that, but that's the kind of person I am. I am into debate, <laughs> debating. I grew up in a family that wasn't afraid to talk it out. I'll just read this really quickly and again, it's in the description of the video, but this is the definition for gratitude. Like most words, gratitude appears to have a number of different meanings depending on the context. For example, gratitude has been conceptualized as moral virtue, an attitude, an emotion, a habit, a personality trait, and a coping response. A number of researchers have defined gratitude as a positive emotional reaction in response to the receipt of a gift or benefit for someone. Oh, forgive me, benefit from someone. Gratitude has also been conceptualized both as a state phenomenon, i.e. an emotional reaction to a present event or experience, as well as a dispositional characteristic or trait phenomenon. Uh, for our purposes, we would like to define gratitude in a much broader sense. Gratitude is the appreciation of what is valuable and meaningful to oneself and represents general state of thankfulness and or appreciation. This proposed definition transcends the interpersonal overtones attributed to the term, the construct of receiving something from someone, and allows for a more inclusive meaning, being thankful for experiences such as being alive, coming into contact with nature, etc. This definition also allows for both state and trait context, which I really appreciate. Even today, I got to work a couple minutes early and I was sitting there and I was just seeing something like flitter or move and I really had to zoom in on what appeared to just be weeds like not nice it just in the sidewalk in the dirt just a bunch of stuff and all of a sudden I noticed these beautiful little birds enjoying the sun and eating to their heart's content I couldn't tell what they were eating but they had little white dots on their head and little red chests and they were just so busy and and when they went they actually jumped from plant to plant and they were just having a field day and and they were just so happy and just reminded me of how God completely provides you know and I want to give a, a shout out to the father because this was brilliant Every once in a while, he puts it on my heart to give money to someone. <laughs> and I understand money's fluid, and it all belongs to him anyway. And even though I'm blessed to have a job and I work hard, he'll tell me to give money to someone. And sometimes I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, do you trust me? <sighs> the old, do you trust me? Uh, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. But, you know... It, it, it's hard sometimes because it's a significant amount of money. Anyway, I gave it. I was graceful. I said, I'll, I just trust you, Father. It's all yours. I get it. It's all yours. And sorry, it's hard for me sometimes. But in the end, the people are so grateful and I can totally see why. You were so kind and generous in that circumstance. And sometimes I can't see why, but I still know. So I was really happy to ultimately do that. And the person was so grateful, ridiculously grateful. So anyway, by the time I got home, <laughs> I saw my husband and he's like, Hun, the mail came and let's talk through it. And, and we often talk through the mail. And all of a sudden he tells me, we got six times the amount. Oh. <laughs> we got six times the amount that God had me donate today um, in refunds. Like, out of nowhere. Congratulations, you overpaid on this. Uh, we're so sorry for our mistake. Here's money. Six times the amount. I was so embarrassed. I was like... <laughs> Why do I ever doubt or question when he is so good to me and just more than provides for real father? Anyway, that was a shout out to God. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. All right, my friends. Like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And yeah, let me know. Are you going to write that thank you letter to someone? Even if it's a text, even if it's an email, it's just refreshing. You know, people don't expect it. And, and we just need more in the world of that, right? Anyway, until we talk again, best of all, 
I'm grateful for you, and therefore, you're blessed.